All right. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Mission Impact Series with Tracy and Ty. So today we're going to be talking about money talks, but can you keep up, right? Because we know that money does a lot of talking, but you have to be able to keep up with the amount of money coming at you or leaving your hands, you know, on a daily basis. So the in part one of money talks, but can you keep up? We're going to be talking about budgeting for nonprofits and social enterprises. Um, we're going to discuss budgeting techniques, tips, and best practices for nonprofits and social enterprises. This will include forecasting income and expenses, right? Because I said coming in or going out, right? Mm -hmm. Understanding cash flow and creating realistic budgets that align with your organization's mission and its goals. And you see Ty's face already, right? Because this is a hot topic. We're always having to talk to people about budgeting. So we're going to talk to you about it today. And hopefully through our explanation, you get a better understanding of why budgeting is so important. All right. My name is Tracy V. Allen, the owner of M. Um, Lord. My name is Tracy V. Allen. You <laughs> I know, right? And I'm the owner of um, Impact Management Group, where I help social entrepreneurs or social impact business to design, build, and fund so that they can live the lifestyles that they desire and impact their community. Yep. And I am Ty Boone, owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. But you know what? <laughs> Sometimes the money is funny, right? Because <laughs> and Grace, if you said you said mocks, right? And I was gonna say, don't say the other part, because you know, you know, that other part that would have the cuss word, not on cuss. Yeah. Um, but money can get quiet when you're not managing it correctly. Um, mm -hmm. everything starts with a budget. And that I think that's, you know, for for the group of people that I normally work with, I think it's hard for them to understand, you know, mm -hmm. um, what are your projections? How are you going to bring in revenue? What are you going to spend it on? And how does that make sense against your mission? People are out here, there are a lot of folks out here who are just winking it. Yeah, we just want to do we just want to do the work and we need some money. You know, how much money do you need? What does your operational budget look like? What are your what are your projections for this thing? What are the things that you have to pay for and what are your plans to pay for it? That's the thing. And, I, uh, you know, especially when you get caught up in grants and fundraising and things, um, people never think about plans to pay for it. They just think about the fact that they they need the money. <laughs> they, they don't right. think about the, the other part. So they'll tell you, well, I got a million dollars. You know, we need a million dollars. You know, how are you good? So it's going to cost you money to get a million dollars. Like, have you, have you considered those in your expenses in your budget? And usually they don't. Exactly. And, and that's something that we talked about. I had someone ask me this week, I was like, I need to see your budget. And they were like, budget what budget <laughs> right i was like the budget for your year like you know they were like i don't know how to do that i was like well how are you running your organization if you don't have a budget she was like well how do you create a budget i said do you have a budget for your personal expenses you know like what bills do you pay every month so you have your salary coming in so you know the source that is coming from or the sources if you have more than one job and then you have all of your expenses right so revenue minus expenses and she was like, oh, but how am I supposed to know that for the organization? Because you know what bills you pay every month, right? Mm -hmm. So it's an estimate. So when we talk about projections or forecasting, that's what we're talking about. What do you expect to make on a quarterly basis and then a yearly basis for the organization based on the efforts that you think or know that you're going to put into the business in that specific year, right? And what are you paying for? Um, on a weekly, monthly basis or quarterly basis, all of the software that you pay for, staff, any incidentals that you would pay for, your insurance, your um, licenses, your registrations, all of those things go into your budget. And if you're planning on having, because people, I think what really trips people up tight is when they're planning to have some type of event. They were like, but that's not going to be for the whole year. I was like, yeah, so it will be an event budget. It will be right. a line item in your budget. It's not that serious. You're making more out of it than, mm -hmm. um, than it actually needs to be made. So you have a separate budget for the event, and then you put a line item in your, your um, regular organizational budget. Mm -hmm. But it helps to keep you accountable. 
Mm -hmm. Right. Because if you're spending money and you're spending more money than you're actually bringing in, you're going to be in the red at some point in time. You're going to turn around going, oh, my God, I don't know why we're broke because Mm -hmm. you're spending more than you're bringing in because you did not take the time to create a budget. And sometimes Mm -hmm. you're bringing in more money than you even anticipated bringing in. Right. And then the money's sitting there when the money could actually be working for you in some other type of way. Right. You really need to understand how your cash flow is going, what's coming in and what's going on. That's what's meant by cash flow. What is coming in and what's going out. So it's revenue and then expenses. Mm-hmm. And most people don't even look at that stuff until it's like, oh, we ain't got no money. Too <laughs> like, we got money. It's too let me look. Let me let me scramble and see what's going on. This is something that you're supposed to be looking at frequently. You know, every month. Mm-hmm. Um, taking a look at what did I spend? Did I spend it in the right place? Um, you know, even, you know, I, I tell people who are coming to me for grant writing, do you have a grant writing budget? Right? <laughs> um, if you don't, I you see, no. it's, right? it's, it's yeah. almost always, uh, no, nah, you know, how much do, right. you do you have a grant writing budget? Do you have a fundraising budget? Do you have a, you know, events budget? Do you have, what's your program? But a budget for everything, even recruiting. Volunteers, volunteers need to have a budget. Yeah, there's you have to have volunteer appreciation. Um, you know, breakfasts, dinners, whatever, um, award ceremonies, that type of stuff. So you need to just really sit down and think about what it is before you can do your budget. You need to figure out what it is that you want to accomplish that year. That's why we say it has to be mission aligned and goal aligned, right? So what are your goals for the year? Do your goals align with your mission? And based on what you want to achieve then you um, backtrack and you create your budget mm-hmm. from and that. Course, you know, like you said before, um, how are we going to pay for this? So if I have a, um, you know, a volunteer budget, what mm-hmm. source of revenue will cover or sources of revenue because it, multiple um, ways to cover mm-hmm. my volunteer budget and your effort, your energy and effort is going to determine whether or not you're going to cover this. It's not going right. to be, you know, it, you mentioned realistic budget you know yeah projections mm-hmm. setting things when you know you're not going to be doing no work <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know you know you're not going to be working you know you're not going to generate seven hundred thousand dollars because you ain't doing no work right. um but what are you going to be doing to generate this revenue um to cover the expenses mm-hmm. yeah and that's basically how your budget works it is a necessary component for you to run a successful organization, especially if you're going out there and you're looking for people to donate to your um, organization. Remember, you don't own it. It's a publicly owned entity and you're supposed to have a level of transparency where they can ask you to see your budget, mm-hmm. right? I want to know, um, you know, how do you intend to keep this organization alive for the year? Let me see what your budget looks like. How mo- how heavy are your expenses? Where are you getting most of your revenue from? They have the right to ask you that. So mm-hmm. you do need to put a budget together. And if you're going to be doing anything like grant writing or um, looking to solicit in any way for major gifts or major donations or whatever, those are things that people are going to ask you for. You're going to need it. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's basically it for budgeting, right? Do you have anything else you want to say? Yeah. I don't, you know, stop spending your, your, your money on Snickers and M&M's oh, if it's not related to your mission. Yeah, I see <laughs> things like that, right? Like, where did the, where did really? the, money, go? Like, where did the money go? If you, know, <laughs> you have these miscellaneous expenses, mm-hmm. what, does, what does miscellaneous include? You know, mm-hmm. you, you put that in your, you know, as, as an item, but have that miscellaneous thing still be something that's related to your mission. You know, you're not just wasting money on right. stuff that's not relevant. You know, so you want to make sure that you keep those records tight. All right. All right. So that's it for part one of Money Talks. But can you keep up and stay tuned next week? We'll have part two. All right. You know how we do it. <laughs> <laughs>